everyone! Welcome back to the channel. My name is Crafty Simmer and welcome back to the Homeless Challenge. Okay, so it's been a while, and if I apologize if the frames are travel wonky. <sighs> OBS has not been my best friend for a while now. Anyways, though, in the last part, we went to El Salvadoria and we started to kind of explore for some treasure. And basically, I can say that we are coming to an end of this challenge. As you can see here, she has this emerald calendar plate of 10,000 simoleons which pushes us well over our goal of 5,000, and that means we're going to actually begin building her cute little house and thus bringing an end to this challenge. Wow, we're actually here. That's hard to believe. And I kind of figured that since we're here, we've gotten to the point of her having this, having now a life in the house and we're actually going to start building it too as well. We're going to actually see if we can find her a little man here in El Salvadoria. Um, so she did kind of have this liking. Oh no, she's talking, she's talking to a few guys out here. Um, who does she really like? Anyways, I think we're actually going to call uh, Pedro and we're going to invite to join vacation. Oh, he's right here. So I don't know. It just—it just seems to be a man that she's definitely gotten herself into, and I don't know. Like now that we've holy moly, that's really loud. I can't even think properly. Anyways, though, I think that her and Pedro can definitely have a relationship together, and we can really kind of. See a future, well, not really a future, but you know, definitely a relationship for sure. Especially now that she's kind of off this whole like, I need to make money, I need to make money now boat. She can now actually focus on herself. You know, just <laughs> it's been a really long time since I recorded so I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Um, anyways, so we're gonna ask him to cloud gaze because without the explore mods, this is my way of getting the friendship bar up super high really fast. Um, when I have the, uh, explore mod installed, which I think is still being updated at the point of this recording, um, that's what I use to kind of cheat the whole system, kind of. So we're just gonna have them kind of sit underneath the stars and talk to each other. This, uh, oh no, sorry, not stars. It's still, uh, are you hungry? Well, too bad. <laughs> Hooray for UI and extensions. I love them. I love them. Anyways, though, if we just kind of set underneath the sky for like a good hour, two hours in Sims time, we can get this bar pretty fast built up. I definitely like this interaction because it's just, it's continuous. I can keep, you know, doing the interaction for, oh, oh, never mind. Um, excuse me, we are still talking to him. Come back. Come back, girl. Um, I want him to, like, like, we're actually doing something over here, have a deep conversation with him, discuss interests, like, really tell him that, like, you like him, because he is really cute. He's all, like, blushy, so he's all blurdy, even though, like, hell, his cheeks are hella pink for his skin tone. Um, it's, it just kind of makes everything super awkward, I'm not gonna lie. Um, we are still super low on the friendship bar. So, hey, nah, uh nah, uh Pedro, Pedro, where are you going? I want to talk to you. Have a local salutation. I don't want him going anywhere. This is kind of frustrating. Ask about they. We can ask if he's a mermaid, which he probably isn't because he existed well before um, Alan Living came out. Uh, ask about siblings. You know, like, ask him- Oh, that was a flirty interaction. Why is asking about siblings flirty? Be like, hey, you know, uh, do you have a brother? Like a hotter brother? Yeah. <laughs> And this is about the outdoors. 
Mermaid, what gave you that idea? Yeah, you are an only child. Talk about dreams. Ask about day. Like, I just definitely want this relationship to be a thing over here. So, like, I want them to, like, have a discussion. Discuss fitness. Discuss fitness. Become friends. There we go. Now we're in the right spot. We can now actually start flirting a little bit. Pick up line. Ask a risque question. And he's flirty, which really helps. Oh. Offer Rose. Oh, no. No, stop. Abort mission. Abort mission. Um... He's walking away. Oh, no, he left. Okay, well, I guess, you know, that kind of failed. But that's okay, though. It's her last day now, Saldoria. She's definitely kind of gotten her footing out here, that's for sure. So I think we're actually gonna head home, and we're gonna see our little fox friend again. So, we're gonna go ahead here, uh, where's end vacation? Travel home. Okay, let's go end it. Okay, here we go. We are back at home with our little fox friends. We're gonna go ahead here, we're gonna pet, we're gonna play and pet him. I'm gonna play and hug him just because, you know, it's been so long, like, wow. Look at this little house. Like, now we actually have, like, the ability now to, like, <laughs> actually make a home. So that's super exciting. Um, like, wow. We're actually ending a challenge for once in this, on this channel. <laughs> Normally, like, I just, like, I just, I don't have time for these things, and then I just kind of leave them, and I never finish them, but now we're actually finishing a challenge. So that's like, wow, well, we're actually finishing something. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my god, I love this little fox. I love Sky. She's so cute. Okay. Anyways, though, yeah, like, <laughs> this is really awkward because I wasn't expecting it to end so fast, but yet here we are. We are pushed over the goal of 5,000 simoleons, and it's really nice to know that they like, we're actually here now. And that this series, after like a year of it being active, it's come to a close. So I think now actually would be the perfect- well actually, to be honest, I think now that like the original plan kind of backfired on me, I think now would be a good time for me to kind of get ready to wrap things up here and actually get her house to be built. And we can just kind of let Natalie off on her merry way because, you know, We've done a lot to this house, we've... Like, we don't even need these anymore, like, she can actually get a job, she can... Like, we can actually get her life all set up now. So let's go ahead here, jump right into build by mode, and we're gonna make her a beautiful house. Well, a house that we can build with what we have. So we're gonna build those a lot. And we got a good 18,000 simoleons here, so that's really good. Um... Anyways, so let's just get going. Yeah, 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 yeah
Alrighty, so I just finished the decoration with us, and all I have to say is like, okay, <laughs> this house is very, I guess, kind of strange. It's kind of strange in a way. Um, so I didn't really have too much to work with, but I did make sure that like she did have like basically all the like, the essentials, like the fridge. Um, bathroom, a little bit of the came over here as well as like a bedroom. It's super like nothing super impressive but I mean though this is kind of like what the challenge is and I just realized I forgot to add uh, boarding out here so we're gonna do that now because I feel like that is required. 
go ahead here, slap down some good old floor paneling. I don't like that one. That one looks okay. And I think we're just gonna put out some like outdoor seating out here so that way then we're not like super duper stuck. You know what, we can kind of splurge with like a nice little couch outside. <laughs> I'm just throwing together like, like random objects. I'm not really a builder, I'm gonna be honest. Anyways though, this is her house. This is the house that Natalie has built for herself. This is now the life that she has obtained for herself. And I couldn't say I'm not any more proud of her. Like, wow, we actually did it. Like, she actually achieved this. This is hers now, and she like... Yeah, even though we did kind of cheat and we broke the challenge, basically, by going to, um, Alice Adoria. I- I just- I realize I'm forgetting so many things, like, I want to add to this place. You can get her, like, a nice com you can get her, like, like, a low computer, like, a low-end computer. Um, buy her a chair for that low-end computer, and we can definitely get her, like, a little bookshelf. We'll do that one. I like that one. I don't think I've ever seen- why have I never seen this one? I like it. There we go. And yeah, and then basically now all that she really needs to do is that we're just going to let her like find a full-time job now. And I mean, that's basically it for Miss- for, for this girly here. <laughs> like this is basically now the end of her- of her line. She has now found a job, she now has a house. Like, basically now her life is going, like now like she's fully adjusted to her own life, she's built one for herself, and that is basically a challenge complete. So we're just gonna have her find a job now, now that her challenge is now complete, and that's where we're gonna end off this episode. Well, I guess really, just lame Benelli. Um, I think we're gonna give her though, Huh. I think I might give her a lifeguard for now. Yeah, we'll do a lifeguard. Part-time. $32 an hour for a part-time job is not too bad at all. And, uh, that's kind of gonna be her, uh, her place. Anyways, you guys, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this series, don't forget to leave a thumbs up as well as a comment. And if you have not joined the Crafted Squad yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that bell so that way hopefully you are notified whenever I upload. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye guys.